Have you ever hit a wall, not physically, but mentally? Maybe you were finally getting into a good routine, building momentum at work, feeling optimistic about a new direction, and then something blindsides you. Or suddenly, everything you were working on feels out of reach for you. You're stuck, unmotivated, and questioning whether you even have the energy to get back up. If this sounds familiar, you're not alone. And here's the important part. Setbacks don't mean you're weak or incapable. They mean you're human. More specifically, they mean your brain is doing exactly what it's wired to do when it experiences disappointment or disruption. Your brain experiences a setback as a mismatch between expectation and reality. And that mismatch creates a dopamine crash. Dopamine is your brain's motivation chemical. It's heavily involved in anticipating rewards and driving goal-directed behavior. When you're working towards something, your dopamine levels rise as you visualize the outcome. But when a setback disrupts that outcome, especially if it's unexpected, dopamine drops. And that drop doesn't just affect motivation, it creates a kind of mental whiplash. You might feel flat, unmotivated, or like, what's the point? And that's not laziness or lack of willpower. That's your brain adjusting to the loss of expected reward. These brain changes can feel like depression for some people, but they aren't the same thing. Setback-related disruptions are typically acute and tied to a specific situation. Depression, on the other hand, involves long-term changes in brain function. But if you don't intervene, a prolonged setback can evolve into something more significant that has more significant consequences for you. So that's why it's so important to support your recovery early. Let's talk about three tools that you can use to bounce back. Tools that work with your brain and not against it. Number one, behavioral activation. Action first, motivation second. When you're stuck, the natural instinct is to wait until you feel motivated. But neuroscience tells us that motivation often follows action, not the other way around. Behavioral activation is a technique used in cognitive therapy to help people climb out of inertia by doing small structured tasks that give you a sense of accomplishment. Even tiny wins can nudge your dopamine system back into gear. For example, sending one email, walking around the block, or organizing your desk. The action itself is less important than the fact that you're taking initiative. 